All right, good morning everyone. So we are working on equations with variables on both sides. So we're going to click the assignment, which is today, and it is called equations with variables on both sides. So I'm just gonna do the first two problems and then you can work on number three and number four. All right, so here is the first problem I see. And it says to solve 4D. So we're going to go 2D plus 4. You should be all writing this down, right? Equals 10 plus 5D. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo this plus 5D on both sides because we want to move all the variables over here. So we're going to take away 5D take away 5D, and then everything at this point is a combination of undo or cancel or drop or do some math. So the first thing we have right here is 2 minus 5. You plug that into your sweet, awesome calculators, and you get negative 3D. The plus 4, there's nothing underneath, so we will drop the equal sign, we also drop. The 10, guess what? Drop. And then this will cancel. So see how it's nice in, in, in a row, in a column, I mean. So we have all of this is in a nice, neat column. We have all of this in a nice, neat column. And everything is just nice and straight above one another. Okay, so you do not need to circle those. But if you did, no big deal. All right, so here we have negative 3D plus 4 equals 10. So we're going to get rid of this plus 4. So we're going to take away 4 on both sides. And again, it's everything is a combination of drop or cancel or do some math. So this is going to drop negative 3D. This will cancel. This equal sign drops. And then we have some math right here, 10 minus 4. You plug it into the calculator, and you get 6. Okay. And then finally, we have negative 3D. Well, that means times, so we're going to undo times with the divide. So that cancels, right? Remember, everything is a combination of cancel, drop, math. Then the D, we drop. And the 6 divided by negative 3, we plug that into the calculator, and it's negative 2. So remember, you can always pause the video if you need to, if I'm working too fast, or if you need to catch up, or to re repeat something. So we're going to plug in negative 2, right here, negative 2. And I don't know if we're going to get a sound or not. No sound, but that's okay. We got it. All right, next question. Ooh, and this one's a little bit trickier because I see about five things up here. So we've got 17 minus 2p equals 2p plus 5 plus 2p. All right, so on the right-hand side, I see one, two, three things which means we can combine some of them. So which ones have the letter? That's right. It's this one, the P, and this one, the P. So we can combine these together. Everything else we drop. Everything else we drop. 17 minus 2P equals these two get combined. 2 plus 2 is uh, 4. And the 5P gets and then at this point, it's exactly like the first one that we did. So we're going to undo this 4P on the right. And the opposite of 4P is negative 4P or minus 4P. And then everything left to right is either drop or math or cancel or something like that. So drop the... 17, do a little math right here, negative 2 minus 4, 
and all of your calculators say negative 6p. Drop the equal sign, and we have the cancel, and we drop the 5. We do not need the plus sign, but if you put a little plus there, nobody will think any less of you. All right, now we have 17 minus 6p equals 5. So we need to get the constant, which is 17, over to this side, okay, over to this side. So take away 17, take away 17. Notice how everything is in a nice, neat column. I did not make my 17 good, I'm sorry. All right, now we either cancel, we drop, or map. Cancel, drop, and math. 5 minus 17, plug that into your calculator. Negative 12. All right, and now this step, we have negative 6p. That means times. How do we undo times? With divide. And you put exactly what we see here. Whatever is here goes here. And here. How about that? So now we're in a combination of undo, cancel, drop, all that. So we just cancel, drop the letter P. And then with your sweet, awesome calculators, you do negative 12 divided by negative 6. Go ahead. And the answer is 2. Okay. So plug in 2. And there we go. So now you have two perfect examples in the con exercise that you could work on. And then you're going to do the next two on your own. Sweet. Uh, I guess that's it. How do I hit pause? Or oh, just like that.